why did you decide to write that book? Well, I decided to write the book because I figured um, some of the conversations that I have um, are some of the conversations that I have are usually uh, taboo topics where people don't really want to talk about them. They don't want to engage in a space where they have to be vulnerable and talk about the uncomfortable spaces where they actually participated in maybe yelling at their kid or they participated in um, having to check their own ego against their children or yeah. humbling themselves. Yeah, and I remember when we talked last time and we said, it's funny, I come from a Lebanese background and we said you said that you, you come from an Islander background and how we both have this thing about parents being the authority. And when we parents say something, it's like, that's it. Whether right, wrong, we're always right. You're not allowed to talk. Yeah, so that's, yeah, yeah. So you were in that, in that space. Yeah, and so like Val saying, ooh, that friend. And then also to my sister, she's also saying the same thing. Like, and culturally, um, for those of you uh, that are listening, Dima, is, she, like she said, she's a Lebanese and I'm Samoan. So apparently in both of our cultures, um, the authoritative figure, um, which are the parents, their voices are the ones that are heard in the house and the children's voices are the ones that are not heard. And so they have to just be around in the space, but their presence isn't really